over the country. Tyler Ivins, who co-hosts the first quarter radio show on WNML, says he was inspired the first time he picked up a recording of one of Ward's broadcasts. The very first time I ever heard John Ward, uh, we were talking about it on the air just the other day, I was going through my uncle's old cassette tapes and I just happened to find a tape that had orange highlighter on it, plug it in, shut the cassette tray, and there was the call of Reggie Cobb in 89, housing that touchdown against Auburn. And then, you know, how do you not grow up in East Tennessee like I did and not listen to John Ward? I mean, uh, my entire life, the only time I can actually remember being able to operate a radio and listen to a Tennessee game and watch a Tennessee game, the only time I never listened to John Ward was because I was at the uh, 96 Citrus Bowl where they beat Ohio State. And it was just so weird watching a game and not having John in, in between the years, you know. I can't tell you how many times I'd look at my arm listening to John Ward from wrist to shoulder or wrist to elbow and I'd just get goosebumps. The countdown, because, you know, somebody would break a tackle. The five, four, I, I can't do it justice. But it was incredible. Uh, Chris Lowe put it perfect. I mean, he would, John would prepare for a game and only use 10, 20 percent of the notes that he had, but no matter where the story took you that day, no matter who the player was that particular day that was standing out, mm -hmm. John Ward knew everything about him, almost as if like he was a family member. Um, you know, you got one opportunity to get it right, and if the mistake happened a second time, it was because you weren't paying attention. Focus. I mean, he, he was a true professional, and not only that, the, the few times I got to meet him, he really was a true gentleman. I mean, it was... In this business, if you can be a professional and a gentleman at the same time, uh, John Ward was able to execute both of those flawlessly. Uh, he was a true legend. And how can you not want to kind of go in this industry? How can you not want to sit behind a microphone uh, and try to try just a little inkling to be as, uh, as good as John Ward? It's impossible. He's a legend, but try your darndest every day. John Ward certainly raised the bar high, and he also made football Saturdays for all of us who grew up across the state of Tennessee. Now, tonight's tribute, The Voice event, starts at 6 o'clock, as we mentioned, right here inside Thompson Bowling Arena. You